not have a foul to give. Morant rejects the screen. Pull up. Killy until he checks in. Pass. Look at this pass to Tillman. Wow. No. Every playoff game, it's always huge. And as Morant upwards makes the not clear the defensive oh. glass. Oh, oh Yaka Purtle. <laughs> Look at this. Avery Bradley with the deflection against Bang. Oh, oh, Morant. What an incredible play. To Garland. Ja almost steals. He does. Nice ja to the basket. Ja plays. Absorbing contact. Look at this part. Not on that play. That was the 360 spin. By Anderson. Morant leaves it. Give it right back. Morant. Oh, my. He toyed with him. He toyed with him. Well, I ain't playing with you no more. <laughs> the shake. Oh, gets the roll. Edwards attacking. Morant. I just shot my shot at this little dot. I'm trying to create that neck on a big neck. My niggas selling crazy. What's these was wrong back because of a big body banger? You ever join? Three video. Now, first things first, make sure you like, come subscribe, and roll fight. You know what I'm saying? Today, I am the Bill Dillon on your local corner, and I'm coming at y'all with this Ja Morant. Build video, yes sir. You know, this was requested last year. This was my best video as well. So here it is today on this Friday afternoon. I hope y'all enjoy. I had a good time with this build as well. It was definitely a lot more challenging than it was last year, you know, due to the fact that obviously the builder is different. I can't just like put points everywhere. So I had to be really skillful with how I was finna make this slash and playmaker type of build. So I had a good time with this build. I hope y'all enjoy it. You know, you get all the contact on packages out of this build. And on top of that, you're able to shoot. You have OD playmaking, OD driving, OD handles. You have everything needed in an amazing point guard. So it's absolutely phenomenal. The next poll for builds is going to go up right after this video drops. So make sure y'all pull up the builds that y'all want to see. And without further ado, let's get right into the attributes that I use for this job. Morant video all right so as you see right here he's point guard number 12 all that now that made him six foot three 181 pounds with a 611 wingspan and defined body build now he is 174 in real life but like there was no point in making him that tiny so 181 was the way to go now what you're going to see me do here is put the driving dunk up to 92 just so i can get the elite contact dunks and small contact dunks the small contact dunks are very very underrated then i have that 90 driving layup and the 80 close shot you see i'm going to put the mid-range up to 73 and the three-point shot i'm going to adjust a little bit over time but right now we're going to start it off at 72 and then i put the ball handling up to 92 just to get all the dribble packages possible and the ball handling speed to 90 then the pass accuracy up to 85 so i did what i had to do there playmaking department and then on top of that i put the perimeter defense up to 70 i put the speed and acceleration to 90 put the strength up to 55 vertical up to 85 and the stamina up to 95 and i'm gonna put some points toward the defensive rebound just so i'm not a complete stick figure out there and then free throw you're also going to see me take some points off defensive rebound and put some toward free throw uh right right now i'm pretty much just trying to make sure my free throw was higher because yeah a 50 free throw was not going to cut it in 2k if you plan on playing in the wreck or whatever a 50 free throw is not going to cut it uh a 70 free throw is a little too high for me because i want to put some points elsewhere but i just did want to i wanted to adjust it just so i was able to make free throws if possible you know but other than that it's a very well balanced build you know obviously the defense is going to be the weakest part but you are able to guard the perimeter with that 70 perimeter defense and those seven defending badges just you will be a liability in the paint you know that's expected out of a john morant build it wouldn't be a john morant build if he could paint defend you know and he's not paint defending i'm sorry but yeah you see right here i finished with the 73 midi 72 three-point shot all that good stuff elite contact dunk small contact dunks and you see i have access to slashing takeover shot creating takeover and playmaking takeover so it is a wide range to choose from you know with this build as a 6-3 build so at the end of the day you can choose what you want to do with that and yeah as you see right here in the shades of i guess shades of the aaron fox damn lillard and Muhammad Abdul Rauf. 
I, don't, I probably butchered his name. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. It's not okay. But you see, I built a slasher. I don't know how I got the uh, last comparison because he was more of a shooter, if anything. But it is what it is. I appreciate it. Thanks, 2K. I was just hoping to get that John Morant. But let me know if y'all got John Morant in the comment section. Let me know what y'all put to get John Morant. But yeah, you see right here, the badge spread is pretty, it's pretty good for a, a slashing playmaker type of build. Obviously, I have the most badges in slashing and playmaking. But I still have double digits in shooting and then close to double digits in defensive and rebounding. But I'm not too worried about defense on this build. I'm strictly worried about the offense and the offense with this build was crazy you know what i mean like it was very athletic very shifty very nimble very quick i had that hall of fame quick first step and yeah yeah that that quick first step was crazy that clamp breaker is crazy like everything with this build on the playmaking side was amazing and then once i got to the rim it was over like it was wraps i was finishing all these contested lays these contact dunks you know i was blown by defenders like it was none breaking people's ankles shaking and baking like i did what i had to do in that department so you know i'm the best builder in this game you feel me like comment subscribe because we need to grow the army we need to grow i don't, I don't even got a name for y'all yet but we need to grow the army that's all i'm saying but yeah let's talk about john Morant. so obviously we see everything happening with the celtics let me just say this real quick Ime udoka cheating on nia long and j cole you know, J. Cole said that he, you know what J. Cole said. If you were a real one, you know what J. Cole said. And he cheated on the alone, right? So before I thought the Celtics were going to be contenders, my pick for this year is the Warriors, right? But I do have a sleeper pick in the Grizzlies. Now, the Grizzlies, they have a very good core. They have their star player, John Morant, if he stays healthy. You know, they have Jaron Jackson, Brandon Clark, Desmond Bain. They have all of the makings, like the same way the Warriors had. The Warriors had Steph Curry, Clay, Draymond. You know, the Grizzlies have Morant, Jaron Jackson, and then um, Desmond Bain. You know, they have like the same buildup, the same core, and then some ridiculous depth behind it. So I feel like the Grizzlies are definitely sleeper picks to go really far in the playoffs again this year. I feel like they're going to be contenders for the next five years. If they keep their core good, if they stay healthy, they are going to be contenders. And you saw what happened with the Celtics over time as they got older. You know, they they, they got to where they needed to be. So that's just my take on it. Hopefully John Morantz gets a ring. But yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video. Y'all make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We're on the road to 5K. You know what I'm saying? Comment any builds you want, and I will eventually get to them. But until then, I'm out. Peace.